Hello friends, again Bob welcome to this tutorial. We have just finished one section for the SNMP configurations in which you have seen how we configured the data, uh, how we configured the SNMP server and agent. From the agent you are retrieving all the information from y x uh, means y server to x means x is the agent and y is the server snmp server so using this all the commands we have just retrieve all the details so our next step is extending snmp which is cell scripting for this very simple you just place anywhere i'm just uh, placing this command like just usr bin and uh, I, I just place on the local section then you will find the local one look user local bin and just typing check or uh, what httpd dot sh or http dot sh whatever you place the name then just it is a best script so this is will be the starting bin bash okay what i need to do i want to get number of pids and p grab means process grab for httpd and give me total number of count Oh, oh I'm get I'm doing on the wrong place actually I have to do this on the server X not Y because X is my server yes just do the same user local bin and check HTTP dot sh I just came here so I need to it is configure the screen bin bash okay give me the number of PIDs command will be p grab and p grab p grab sttpd and give me total number of count for id and then do exit for and you am p i d s great just do the paste copy the path and go etc snmp snmpd dot com just go on the bottom on the bottom you simply just type extend p e n d extend s t t p d p i d s and run for this bin s h means this is a shell script actually this one great just do the pay for this user and do the restart snmp restarted great our next step is to retrieve the information from server y to x means how many http services running but before let me test is there httpd server uh, country file or services is running httpd yes it is available system system ptl status httpd yes it is an active state very good here let me execute this command from the base machine giving me six output well let me go ahead and 
execute the command is what snmp walk localhost and give me the extend object output this is snmp walk localhost because checking on the locally snmp net snmp extend mib for extend ns extend object it's giving you some output here number of integers one http d pids this is one i check for the httpd.sh and this one check input cache time will be integer 5 exec type run type storage output lines full and result when the result is integer 6 and i got fine is httpd pid so you just seen this output is i'm getting so let me check will i also getting from the on the client uh, means from the agent just i come here and just place y or server y dot class yes so i just hear what is done the scripting for only one survey but i just want to do for this on the S snmp or sttpd server so it's also possible just two more entries i require to add just go etc snmp snmpd.com copy both the uh, last line because i just making some changes here this is for SATPD and this is for SNMPD. SNMPD. Well, it is done. Very well. Just go ahead and save the details. Restart the service now. start yes need to restart snmpd snmpd service is start now well our next step is snmp walk for the local host and give me the snet snmp extend mib ns extend object details it shows me it is a two this is all five five http dpid six snmp pid six but it is incorrect i require to modify on the file local bin check sttpd dot sh just replaced here or uh, it is process i guess pattern just put the pattern one and if give me also print this output with the command is what there are x number of pid and pattern processing so it's done do the save and do the restart snmp is restarted and run the same command same output you will get one for the sttpd another for the snmpd so i just print it out Six processes and SNMP no incorrect. Because it's C 
thing to happen here was not for the HTTPD it is for this pattern because input is getting by pattern simple and pattern will Yes, now it's correct. Now I'm getting correct output. This is first is as a variable, second one is as a variable. So there is six process running for the HTTPD and one process is running for the SNMP one. Same I have printed out. Right? Done. This, so finally what you need to do you need to mention this command in the configuration file and next you need to execute as a SNMP walk localhost or server name and with this OIDs operation IDs means net SNMP explain MIB and as explain object this you need to do and rest do so I, I just you have seen I have just monitored the two process hence two services one is the HTTP another is SNMP so for the both of the process I have just monitored you will also do and so on processes just you require make the changes in the file Vim etc snmp snmpd.com just go on the bottom and which service you require just give here the service name which service you want to monitor right then it will check in this script true and execute by this and this is just it's a variable any any string you miss set and you have to just do this syntax means this total syntax you need to follow if you do then you next do the save configuration and next restart the service and fetch let me check uh, once again i'm also getting this information on the x server for this one mib objects for the Y here also getting so you got all the words which I just told you at the time here let me one simple review at the moment for the scripting you need to basically follow this if you uh, making the process monitor for single one do this one but if you like to have more the process just follow this one pattern number of PIDs and print the how many PIDs of that services process running and exit num PIDs so this is all the done well friends I am stopping here and if you like this video please subscribe and share with friends and follow and please go ahead on www.lngobustitorials.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and we will meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great time.